Kijkers, welkom bij het tweede deel van een gesprek met. Zoals u ziet zijn we niet meer in de studio, maar we zijn op locatie waar de finale van het Indische, eerste Indische Songfestival van Suriname gehouden zal worden, de Saragamapa. En hierbij zullen we een gesprek houden met de heer Chris da Costa en meneer Savin Satia. Gentlemen, welkom to our program in gesprek met. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Um, with who can I begin? Please, with Mr. Setia. Okay, Mr. Setia, we're reaching the end for the finale of the Saragamapa yep. contest. Could you tell us how was the preparation from the last Saturdays that the singers were singing their songs? They uh, sing very well last uh, Saturday and Friday. And we are very excited about the uh, Anthony and SD Hall uh, for final by Friday, this Friday. Uh, 29th of uh, November and really we are very very excited because the children's uh, singing very well and we have now four contestants in the final so let's see uh, who is going to win but uh, I tell them all uh, my uh, contestants all the best so sing well so after that let's see on the public what they decided Okay, you say we have four finalists. Are there girls and boys or only girls or only boys? No, no, three girls and one boy. So, yeah, hmm. so all four are very good. All four are very good. That's why uh, uh, jury of uh, this singers contest, they, they request us uh, to send all four contestants to the final. And after that organization, I will, uh, and with uh, Mr. Chris, we will decide it. Let's go for four for the contestants uh, in the final. Okay, that's good. And, and, and what is their age, these four finalists? Uh, they are uh, 18 to 25, 18 to 25, okay. in between, yeah. So um, the more younger, uh, the more younger contest beat the more younger one, the older one? <laughs> yeah, all young people, all young uh, child, uh, these uh, contestants. And uh, the younger one, I think so, Chris, uh, I think so, 18? Yes. Uh, who is uh, 18? I think uh, Jaya, I think, is the... 17. Uh, 17, I think she's the youngest, I think. Yeah, I think so, she's the youngest. Mm -hmm. So, actually, everything is in record, so I, <laughs> I don't know yeah, how... Exactly <laughs> yeah, but, uh, but uh, she's uh, maybe 17, maybe yeah, she's 17. Oh, okay, Mr. Da Costa, um, you were here for, from the very beginning, and it was going to be 10 weekends to say it like that and you started with a lot of fi uh, contestants and now we have four finalists how do you look upon the preparation when you first gave the idea to organize this contest here in our country okay uh, firstly uh, i would like uh, audience to know that uh, this is not uh, my solo effort it is primarily because of my friend uh, uh, Savin Setia, who is also uh, my business partner, uh, who you just uh, addressed and you interviewed. It was uh, something that we started as a discussion, something that was thrown uh, from his table. I only caught the ball okay. and, uh, and I developed it together with him further. Of course, I had similar ideas, but things like this, it's difficult to do alone. And uh, he uh, was the, the push, the power uh, behind this. And um, the, the name Saragamapa Singers Contest is also something that he came up with. Um, because Saragamapa is a well-known singing contest in the Indian subcontinent. And you have in the Indian diaspora, in other parts of the world also, Saragamapa contest in other countries too. But we didn't have something of this formula in Suriname. So the preparation uh, was very tough because a lot of financial responsibilities were on us, but also the responsibility of delivering the right quality and ensuring that the contestants are comfortable here. Uh, they travel a long distance to come, then communicating with the jury, taking support and getting support from RTV and from Telesur, all that communication, and then preparing for the finals. So it's, uh, uh, it's, our team is not that big, so it is uh, a lot of pressure and power, uh, sorry, pressure and a lot of responsibility that comes on us as organizations when, especially we are foreigners, 
you know, in Suriname, trying to do something. People are looking at us and asking us a lot of questions. Okay, what is the motive, and you know, why, where is this going to? So we we understand the responsibility, and uh, we've done our best that we could have. This is our first year, okay. and uh, definitely, you know, we are going to put our best for the next finals. Mm -hmm. And um, the question about uh, the lyrics and the songs from the finalists, who can I ask that? The lyrics? Yes. Uh, was, it, was it difficult for, because um, we Maybe have... You can address it to Mr. Savine and then I can answer it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mr. Savine, um, we do um, have um, our Indian um, community. community here. They speak Hindi, but was it difficult for them to read the lyrics from the songs that they choose? No, actually, uh, our contestants, all the contestants, even 20, 20 contestants, they are very, uh, actually, in Suriname, uh, the children, they are very smart. And they understand everything, and uh, they understand Hindi also, uh, and they speak Hindi. And they don't have any problem with that, I'm sure. They don't have any problem with that. Okay. And Mr. Da Costa, um, the first prize is a round trip to India. That's How right. did the contestant respond to that, that they might see India maybe for the first time? Well, they are, um, they are definitely very excited because, uh, firstly, uh, for many of these people, they are from the Indian diaspora, so they have roots to that country. And because it's very expensive to also travel there, it is not easy to, you know, easily just take a flight and go to India. But other than that, yes. So you explain to that thing too also, like, uh, uh, once they go to India, and uh, they meet uh, yes, yes, to yes, yeah. yeah please explain that one too so uh, we we definitely <laughs> i think they are very excited but what a new development is is that um, uh, you know we have as an organization as a partner in the company in the organization we have been able to facilitate uh, the winner mm -hmm. to go with a legendary bollywood singer and who's going to attend a coaching session for four days, and then we'll attend uh, a big festival where some Bollywood celebrities will be present, and the winner and the parent has been also asked to be present if they can. Okay, that's uh, exciting. Uh, there are some other things also in store, but uh, uh, so, so there is a lot of effort that we really are, are putting in to make sure that they really get some value, because it's not just about singing you know everybody can learn how to sing and try to sing mm -hmm. but if you really want to make a career in singing you have to be in the market which is willing to buy your talent okay. if you make a product or a service and there is no market then there is no value in return just in internal pleasure but if you want to make a career people have to buy your service so that is our goal is to make that small connection, a small step towards that. We do not know after that what will happen. The rest is up to them. Mm -hmm. They have to make the effort. They have to market themselves. They have to network. But we make that little step, then make that small connection, and leave a small spark. Okay. <laughs> okay, Mr. Savine, the, the finale is held in the Anthony Nasty Sport Hall, and that's a more bigger venue yes. than uh, the Maharaja Palace. Um, how, how, how is the, how am I supposed to say it? Are the, are the seating prepared? Are almost all the tickets sold out? Uh, <laughs> you, are, you are from Suriname, and uh, a, you are a Suriname, and you know that better than me. Suriname on the last moment, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> But but we sell tickets a uh, lot lot of uh, sale uh, sold out uh, already, but uh, I'm not worried about uh, about uh, the selling tickets uh, because I know people are on the last moment. So definitely people like it this concept and definitely they will like it. They will love to come there and watch the Sarigama final uh, grand finale. So I tell to all Suriname. Uh, I will invite to all Suriname people, come and just encourage the children. That's it. Mm -hmm. can, can I mention about the ticket prices quickly? Uh, so uh, for the audience, uh, the, the ticket prices are 35 SRD and 100 SRD. Uh, please rush and get in your tickets. Tickets will be available at the gates, but they are also available at Maharaja Palace Palak Fashion. Please follow our Facebook page 
uh, which is uh, Maharaja Palace. If you type, you will find the Maharaja Palace Suriname page. You can find details also where the tickets are available in other places. But please rush. Don't wait for the last minute. Uh, buy now. Buy today. <laughs> okay, kijkers, u heeft het gehoord van meneer Chris en meneer Servien. Uh, voor de mensen die nog steeds geïnteresseerd zijn om de finale bij te wonen, dat kan nog steeds om uh, in het Internationale Sporthal aanwezig te zijn. En uh, komt die kijken, komt die de jongeren aansporen om hun best te blijven doen. En hiermee zijn we aan het eind gekomen van deze aflevering van In Gesprek Met. Mocht u deze aflevering hebben gemist, kunt u naar de herhaling kijken om 8 uur op 12.2. Bedankt voor uw aandacht. Tot de volgende keer.